Okay, so it's Mark Meadows, Trump's chief of staff, chief lackey. Let's see what the cards have to say. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do subscribe. It really makes a big difference. And thank you very much just for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Mark Meadows, have you ever, uh, run into somebody or met somebody for the first time and you haven't spoken to them yet and you just see them from a little bit of a distance and they look like oh wow that's a very authoritative person this person is important they know what they they're doing and and then you get up and you speak to them and they open their mouth and you realize either right away oh no they're 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 not what i thought they were uh, or sometimes it takes a, a little bit into the conversation or maybe even a few conversations and you go oh no that person doesn't have a clue they look like they know what they're doing but they don't and trump picks everybody by how they look he typecasts them if you look the part you get the job doesn't matter what's up here so mark meadows what is with the on off on off switch with mark meadows he's not that bright a guy he has had some success um but uh, I, I did wiki him so i can tell you what i found out there I gotta tell you what I found on Wiki is actually kind of funny, but what it says is that in 1959, Mark Randall Meadows was born on July 28th, so he's a uh, Leo, and he was born at a U.S. hospital, uh, Army hospital in Verdun, France, where his father was is from Pineville, Arkansas, and he was in the Army, of course, and his mother was a civilian nurse from Tennessee. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, he grew up in Brandon, Florida. Actually, I know Brandon very well. Um, and um, just a, very near Tampa, Florida. And described his upbringing as poor. He said he was a fat nerd who went on a diet after a classmate rejected him for a date. And then uh, 1977 and 1978, he attended, uh, this is actually a big controversy, Florida State University for one year, but for many years he falsely claimed to hold a bachelor's degree, uh, even in his official um, federal biography. So eventually he graduated from the University of South Florida with an associate's degree, and uh, he was considered to be one of 45's closest Republican allies in Congress. Now, in 1987, Meadows started a small restaurant, this is pretty cool, in, in um, Highlands, North Carolina, called Aunt Dee's. And uh, served as uh, he also served as the Macon County German, uh, Chairman of the uh, Republican Party, and he sold the restaurant to start a real estate development company in Tampa, Florida. So that connects with Brandon. Uh, 2011, he moved to Glenville, North Carolina. So he's got a prop of business in Florida, and he's still up in the Carolinas. Huh. Uh, 2013 to 2020, he served in the US, as a US, U.S. Representative for North Carolina, voting against disaster relief for Hurricane Sandy in the northeastern states. Okay, uh, in 2013. Uh, in 2013, he played an important part of the U.S. federal government shutdown. Okay, in 2014, Meadows sold 134 acres in Dinosaur, Colorado. If you can believe, there's a place named Dinosaur, Colorado, to an Earth creationist group. You know, those folks who reject uh, science in favor of miraculous, uh, spontaneous, divine creation. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's what their belief is. Um, but appeared in a film called uh, Raising the Allosaur. So it's got that dinosaur reference. Uh, dot, dot, the true story of a rare dinosaur and the homeschoolers who found it. So I don't know. I should have dug in. Maybe the exit that actually happened. I don't know. But he, he, he was in a film. In 2015, Meadows served, probably didn't happen if he was in the film, right? In 2015, Meadows served as chair of the subcommittee on the government operations, on government operations when a fellow Republican congressman removed him from the position because of his vote against a procedural motion allowing for just uh, Obama's a request for fast-track authority on trade agree agreements. So he was very much against that. And some Republicans felt it gave too much power to Democrats and Obama specifically. So he wasn't alone in that. Then 2016, he sold his uh, North Carolina house and he moved into an apartment. 
president in 2016. So that's as uh, Trump's coming into office. Uh, 2017 uh, through 2019, Meadows chaired the House Freedom Caucus and was also voted in fa and also voted in favor of Hurricane Harvey disaster aid. But this time, it's for Louisiana and Texas. And so Republicans seemed opposing spend uh, money in Democratic states, but supporting it in Republican uh, ones. So that's not a good look. Uh, 2020, Meadows re resigned from Congress to begin, become 45's White House Chief of Staff. And as the virus spread among White House staff, he concealed the cases, although he had tested positive c for COVID-19. He had, too. And uh, a small group of people were told to keep it quiet, uh, hindering contact tracing efforts and endangering uh, staff. He participated in the failed effort to overturn the election results. Sad. In Sad. In 2021, he was questioned. He questioned the efficacy of masks, and he uh, pressured the Food and Drug Administration to adopt less strict guidelines for COVID-19 vaccine trials, criticizing them for relying too much on science. Um, the U.S. House on January 6th committee subpoenaed him for records and testimony related to the insurrection. He failed to show up, and the committee is working on issuing a criminal referral for him to the Department of Justice. And then uh, Meadows aided Trump in his efforts to overturn the election, pressure election officials, uh, urging the Georgia Secretary of State to overturn the certification of their election results. He connected Trump to a former North Carolina judge, advancing the claim that Vice President Pence could refuse to count the electoral votes from states Biden won. And Meadows also repeatedly pressed the acting U.S. Attorney General, the acting U.S. Attorney General, to have the DOJ investigative, investigate uh, the unfounded conspiracy theory, theories uh, claiming fraud, including that people in Italy used military technology and satellites to tamper with the voting machines and turn Trump votes into Biden votes. So with that, we do a, a reading. So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well with the Clown College here uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing, and if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are. Are, are gonna mean. I mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at. So you know I do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh, and you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only gonna see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So you know this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot I love using these. Okay, Mark Meadows. Mark Meadows, what on earth is going on with this guy? Okay, so he's created some some industries, cre created some businesses, and um, so he's not completely without some uh, weight. You know, he's not an idiot. It seems like he is, though. Um, I don't know. Did he just fall into some good luck? I mean, that does happen to people sometimes. They do fall into seem to always fall into good luck. Um, I don't know, but uh, so Mark Meadows in this, uh, I'm going to testify, I'm not going to testify, you can have my text messages, uh, you can't have the other ones, I'm going to publish a book and tell you lots of secrets, but don't ask me anything about it, that Mark Meadows, okay, so I guess I want to know, you know what I want to know, I just want to know if he's guilty, if he's going to contribute to the downfall of number 45, and if he'll suffer a penalty himself. Three questions. Two three-card draws, and then one larger draw. First three-card draw. Mark Meadows, are you going to suffer a little bit of a downfall for what you've done? One, two, three. Okay, three cards. First card being, wow. Two of Swords. Decisions have to be made, and this doesn't look very comfortable. Okay? Truth, justice. Rules, law. 
Yeah, not good. So that's that two of swords. Uh, the next card for that, uh, are you going to see, are you going to have any consequences? Um, so this is the five of coins. You know, the five of coins is being left out in the cold. Wow, it's not very good. Uh, that coins are value. That could be uh, the cost of his attorney's fees. Uh, worth uh, could be just the value of him as a person. But the five of coins is always someone looking at something else and wishing they could get some of that protection, and they can't. Last card, Mark Meadows, will you suffer? Ah, the Hierophant, the Pope. Number five of the Major Arcana. This represents the government. So, yeah. Yeah, the government is going to get theirs. Um, uh, hard decisions are going to have to be made. Truth and justice uh, will be the choices. Uh, it's going to be you're going to be left out in the cold, and um, the government uh, is going to make the decisions regarding this. It's interesting. So now, will you reveal some information that will uh, make Trump um, that will make the difference in Donald Trump? Well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that. But uh, at least that will contribute to um, justice coming to number 45. Okay. Go to half. Three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Will you contribute to the downfall of 45? Signifier card of that is uh, the Five of Wands. You know, this is argy bargy. This is a pointless conflict. This is keeping things stirred up. So, uh, it, you know, it could very well be that uh, you do add to the uh, noise, but uh, this isn't a deadly conflict. Um, the next one, uh, could you contribute to uh, 45's downfall? Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Whose heartbreak is it? Is it yours heartbreak? Is it 45? Is it a combination? And the last card, could you contribute to 45's downfall? Look at that judgment. Yep. It looks like, uh, you know, that's what's going to happen, and it's going to be heartbreaking to see it to see it happen. Yep. Okay. And uh, so for the last little diet cross, what is up with this on and off, on and off, on and off? Can't make a decision. Um, what can the cards tell us? And the cards give us some story on Mark Meadows' full Celtic cross. So one, two, three. Four, five, and six. Okay. These will tell the story. Mark Meadows, what's up? So we start out with a signifier card again, repeating this uh, this five of pentacles being left out in the cold. That's what's going to be, uh, and it is what's telling right now, you have been left out in the cold by 45. He's already uh, denounced you. Uh, the challenge to that then is going to be this page of wands. You know, the page, look at that, this is a big fat Republican elephant, and the page is bringing an action forward, an idea, a plan, and uh, it doesn't look like he's charging. It looks like he's just plodding along. So this page of wands uh, on this uh, Republican elephant is bringing an idea forward. So this is Mark Meadows. The challenge to being left out in the cold is the only thing he can do is bring a message forward. Okay, reveal some information. Uh, the base of this reading, then, is the Queen of Coins. Okay, she's uh, counting up. She's looking to see, what, what do I have a value here? How much have you paid? What have you given us? And uh, how much do you, is still due? And this is going to be useful for you. Okay, that's the base of this. The past of this reading, then, look at that. The broken heart comes right back again from those first readings. And to tell us that, yeah, you are in a fix now, and you know it. Truth, justice, rules, law. The uh, look at that. <laughs> the sky of this is no better than a nightmare. Okay, the nine of swords is just absolutely all these actions, all this truth, justice, rules, and law is just a nightmare. How can you walk up a ladder of swords to get out of there? How, how can that work? And then the uh, likely outcome of this first part of this uh, Celtic cross is this eight of coins, which is interesting because you know this is the apprentice. This fellow has practiced his craft, and maybe you have been crafty enough to somehow pull yourself out at the very end. But uh, to find out, let's ask the question. And then let's shuffle these cards just once. So are you going to pull something out at the last minute to save yourself? Suffer that question. Ace of coins, look at that. Yes, I am. Great big little offer of value, or a nice little offer of value, a little nugget here. And it's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of, ah, the devil. Of course it is, ill intentions. You know, how else uh, would that uh, good luck ever come to you? And then the hopes and the fears for that. Or with this two of uh, pentacles, yeah, being able to balance that, uh, those sticky issues, those gummy situations that you've got, this doesn't look delicious. This is like a complete nightmare, you know. Uh, so, yeah. And then the final outcome of the whole thing, Park Meadows, is uh, the six of wands. It's a victory. 
It sure is. It looks like it's a victory, and looks like you're going to find a way to the uh, finish line and get out. I can't wait to see how this all actually pans out in real life. So we'll see how how well I did. But thank you so much for uh, you know tuning in and uh, keeping up with me. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.